I'm Pastor George Borkard, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. Things to think about when returning to church. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, donate. If you love our videos, like them, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications. Did you hear that, bud? And it fell right on his head because he's tired. And donate. Higher Things is a nonprofit 501c3. Your tax deductible gift keeps us a rolling. And we need your gift in these dark times. Churches have begun opening up again. And that means we might want to take a moment and think about um, reopening and what that means, and what that means to you. First off, none of this is a faith test. It's not God versus COVID-19. It's just not. You shouldn't look at this as a faith test. This is not you in front of the, uh, front of the, um, uh, the precipice deciding to walk across, um, on an, on an invisible bridge like Indiana Jones. It's, it's just not that. It's not that. So if you're at risk, even if the state opens, you might consider staying home until this thing fades away. Your church understands it. Your pastor understands it. All you need to do is talk to him. And there you're loving your neighbor uh, because both you're both you, even if you feel like you aren't going to get it, are loving others because they don't want to give it to you. I do not want to infect my in, um, at-risk parishioners with anything. And so I'm happy. That sounds strange when they respect the state and um, do what they can to shelter in place during this. I want to see them. I want to love them. I want to, I want to care for them. But I also don't want to make them sick. And a lot of parishioners are like me. So we need to love each other and not make this a faith test in returning to church. That's number one. Number two is that social distancing is very, is loving in this time. Although we want to hug people, shake hands, and all we want to do, all those things, sit by our, our friends, uh, the best thing that we can do is keep a proper distance until such time as this isn't an issue anymore. Um, and so we do that bring our own drink, wave, give elbows at most, but handshakes, hugs, and the like, not helpful right now. Not because we don't love each other, but because we love each other, so that we will not get sick, and so that we will not make others sick. And that's the same for masks and the like. Uh, it's debatable whether or not a mask is going to uh, prevent the spread of it, but um, if someone else believes a mask is going to help them not get you wearing a mask is going to help them not getting get COVID-19, then I'll put on a mask. I put on a mask for communion. I put on a mask for the like, for, for green people. Something also to remember is um, when it pertains to the Lord's Supper, okay? Um, the Lord's command is to take, eat, take, drink. If you are able to pick up food from the store, if you are able to um, to take takeout from restaurants and have those folks handle your food. And your church is taking its best precautions to be as sanitary as possible in the distribution of Lord's Supper. And you should take the Lord's Supper. You should. If you can do those other things, then you can take the Lord's Supper. And again, this isn't a faith test. If you, if you're, if this is affecting you and you're scared, then okay. But if you're able to do those other things and your church is taking the time to make sure that the Lord's Supper is properly distributed in a safe and, and, and clean environment. Okay. And lastly, volunteering at church. Um, we need to have our churches super clean. They need to be disinfected in between services. They need to be, um, uh, uh, this means extra work for some people. And what you might continue consider doing is volunteering to wipe down the pews. Um, or to help in any way, shape, or form in order to make your church as clean as possible so that you can love your neighbor. The same is when it comes to giving. Make sure you continue to give to your church because your church needs your gifts in these times. So 
however you can help love your neighbor in this time is what you need to do. Whether that means stay home or go in ch to church and clean or social distance at church. How can you help love others in this time? And how can you help those who are weaker um, hear the word? Because that's what this is really all about. It's what church is all about. Receiving Jesus Christ and him crucified. The one who died for you and rose for you and lives for you. And when all this is over with, who will take you to be with himself, to be with him forever in a place where there is no sickness and there is no death. He has overcome the world. He has overcome Satan and he's overcome death itself. I'm Pastor George Borkart. Love your neighbor out there. And this has been another Higher Things video short.